The columns function in Excel isn't too fancy or complicated. It just counts the number of columns in an array. So that array could be an Excel table or it could be a named range. It could be an array or an array function or just a range of cells on the worksheet. So we'll look at a couple of examples here. In the first example, I've got just a little table of region sales results. And I'm going to turn this into an Excel table. You can do this in Excel 2007 or later. I'll click a cell in this table and on the insert tab of the ribbon, I'll click table and it's selected the data for me. And I do have a header row, so I'll leave that checked and click OK. And it just creates a little formatted table. There's also on the ribbon, you can see table tools and there's a design tab here. And for this table, it automatically assigns a numbered name and I could give that another name if I prefer. I could call it region sales. It has to be you know, something meaningful in the workbook. So that makes more sense than something just called table one. Now for this formula, I can count the number of t uh, columns in that table. If I type equal columns and then type the name of my table and that shows up automatically, close the bracket and there are four columns in this table. I could also create a named range. So if I have these cells, I can click in the name box and call that my table. And then with a couple of other functions, I could get a total of this last column. So I'll start with sum because that's going to do the addition for me. And then I'll use index and then I'll refer to my array, which is my table. And I don't want a specific row, I want a column. And to get the last column, we could use columns and my table. I'll close that. And so with the sum, the index function gets that last column by counting the number of columns in my table and then sum gives us the total.